you know, as a dating coach, I try to come on here and talk to you guys about the fact that, you know, men and women have a variety of differences and the way that we think about things. You know, there's obviously societal reasons for that. There's ways that we're trained. There's ways that we're, you know, socialized to think about things and think about the other sex and stuff like that. And all that stuff is very true. But I think in the in the process of having these conversations, we, we forget one critical component. And it's that men and women have different chemicals inside of themselves that are determining how they react to certain situations in society. And this is very important because I think it gets dismissed and I think it causes a lot of frustration if you're not inherently aware that that is a thing that is affecting how we think and feel about things. So for example, there's the common trope that you know men are too analytically logical, they don't have enough emotions, and women oftentimes, to men, feels like they have too many emotions. But that really comes down to our chemical makeup. You know, women have estrogen, and the hormone estrogen causes women to feel things a lot deeper than guys do. And guys have more testosterone, so even if something emotional has happened, we are less likely to have an overtly emotional response to things because we're typically going to be put into like the mode of but i gotta figure this out because testosterone is that chemical that's going to make you want to think about things more and try to come to solutions versus sitting emotions about it and when we you know completely block that part out we suddenly get like we don't understand why women act a certain way all the time and then women come to us and say we don't understand why you act a way a certain amount of time and the reality is yes there's ways that we're socialized but it's also in part because of our chemicals, you know? And so there was a woman on Reddit that she asked a question the other day. She said, you know, she, her question was, if men don't cry, where do their emotions go? And she was literally saying, as a 26 year old woman, she doesn't understand how it is that men don't cry as much because she feels like crying quite often when things are going wrong, whether it stresses the world and stuff like that. And so, you know, I'm and, and it from a good place because I, I love when women reach out and, and are trying to figure out why it is that men are the way they are or why they do or don't do certain things that, you know, this pertains to various things happening. And so, you know, if people in the comments are very nice to her, I left the comment also, and I, I told her, I said that basically, you know, you gotta understand that women have more estrogen than men and women and estrogen makes women more apt to cry at things. And that's not to say that men don't cry ever. And in fact, as we get older, we start to get a bit more estrogen, which is why you'll see old dudes get sensitive and teary eyed at the drop of the hat where that same guy could have been like stolen whole hardcore in his younger days and never cried a day in his life, you know? But so aside from my contribution though, there was a contribution from a trans man. So that's a, a person that was born a woman and then decided to switch over to teen guy. And as part of doing that, uh, this person had to take testosterone. And so I found their insights interesting. They said, I'll be honest, as a trans guy, before I started taking testosterone, I could cry very easily. After testosterone, crying isn't easy. I'll feel like I need to, but I just don't. So I had to respond back. I said, it's a, I said so prior to taking testosterone, what was the feeling like when you wanted to cry in terms of the intensity of wanting to cry or how often you had the feeling that you could be on the verge of tears. And then they responded and said, it feels the same as it does now. I'm just not able to physically cry like I could before. My eyes will tear up a bit and that's it. I'm not afraid of crying by any means, so I'll let it happen when it does. And then they say the last time they cried was the end of their marriage and before that when uh, their grandpa died in October 2022. So, but what does this person say? They specifically said in their comment that they are not physically able to cry. The testosterone they're taking makes it so where even if they wanted to cry, they are physically not able to. Think about that. Think about the fact that our chemicals like help, I, I help change our identity so much that it even brings out certain traits like, like whether or not you can or cannot cry. So now I, I'm telling you this to you as the guy watching this because you need to think about that, right? I think about the fact that because we have testosterone, we, and on some levels, are not in control of if we can cry, even when things are sensitive and going around us, right? So I want you to take that same thought and now apply it to women. Women have estrogen. The estrogen is causing them to feel things a bit more and think about things in a different way. And then so men are coming along and saying, you shouldn't cry so much. You need to be less sensitive. Why don't you think more like a guy? And it's because they physically can't. 
because of the chemicals that they are made up with. And this is why I tell you guys it's important to have empathy for the other side and to better know women as a whole, not just about how they think or feel, but about like the things that make them up in the first place. And then based on their chemicals, for example, it determines how they think about things and how they operate in the world. Like, and they're having men that I'm telling them not to be the way they are and are getting frustrated by how they are and their chemical makeup is making them the way they are. It's not going to change. It's, you can try to tell them all day to be more logical, think more like a guy. They're not chemically built up to even do that. And it's not to say that they can't run that over time because there is an element of depending on the environment they're in and who they're growing up under, that they can learn those things, but it is not innate in them to be that way. So yes, a woman that has you know, a dad there in her life that's able to kind of give her the wilderness around how guys think and feel, they're getting an education, but like, how long does that take? And then imagine a woman that doesn't have a male influence around and you're wanting her to understand where guys are coming from and think like them and not be as emotional. And again, they can learn some of that, but just their chemical makeup is going to make them be more emotional in the same way that our emotional makeup, for better or for worse, is gonna make us less emotional. So just like women come to us and say, why can't you cry? Like they don't understand how we go through stress and don't like wanna be crying and be emotional all the time. And they're not aware that because of how we're built, we, we're not feeling stressed the same way. And therefore we're not, we're not feeling things highly emotional because in our makeup, it's like, you don't have time for emotion. You just have time to, testosterone is gonna make you more apt to wanna like, lead out of a situation that's bad and figure out an alternative solution to that. And women's chemical makeup is, but I need to sit with my emotions and feel things first because the estrogen in my body is saying that this is how I have to operate. So I bring all this to the point just to say, it, you know, the times you get frustrated with women and you're not understanding how they're operating or why they're doing the things they do, you know, have a little bit of empathy and know that you're not going to ever feel the way they feel in part because you don't have the same heightened level of the estrogen chemical that they have. And so consider that, consider that, you know what? It may be annoying at times, it may be frustrating, but you need to sit there and be like, but realistically, how she's made up is how she's made up. So again, that's why I'd say quite often on this channel, you can, you don't have to like it, but you can either understand it and know how to adjust to it, or you can just complain about women all day and not get women. I choose to do the, the former, which is to be like, okay, you know what? It is what it is. They're gonna be who they're gonna be. And just like they're looking at me like, oh, I wish Harrison Towns with X, Y, and Z, like, because I, I got testosterone. So some things, I'm not going to ever be super sensitive to some things that are going on in their life. But I know that if they're going through a thing and they feel sensitive to it, that that means it's a big deal to them. And I can, you know, empathize that on a level of if it's a big deal to them, I know what feels like things are big deals to me. And so I'm going to just let them sit in that. I'm not going to insult them. I'm not going to call their names. I'm not going to say they're stupid feeling a certain way because... Aside from just, you know, how they grew up, their emotional nature is based on their chemicals. I want sort of go on there into these women and zap out their, their estrogen chemicals so they can be like me, which point I won't want to date them, then I'm gonna just have to learn it is what it is and go forth, right? So be more sympathetic to what women are going through. Even though you don't feel the things, part of it's our chemicals, it is what it is, learn to adjust accordingly and you'll get better results. Now, with that said, with also the nice thing about that though is that because they have an estrogen buildup, they're more likely to respond positively to men that are able to tap into how they are and to be able to like, you know, relate with them on the way that they relate to each other and stuff like that. And those are all skills that you can learn. Like you don't have to be built up full of estrogen to better understand women and what they actually need in order to be successful with them. And that's why you can go to harrywilmington.com and check out my Get Goals Academy, which talks you through various programs that are designed to show you how it is that you can relate to women in a real way while still being a man, but still understanding what they need in order to succeed and get the women that you truly like. So check that out at harrywilmington.com. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. I'm Grant Wilmington. Thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe, check out the website, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.